We just get to play Ulamog though, don't we? Yeah. Duh. What's up guys, if you'd like to support our content and pick up this month's amazing proxy rewards, please check out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash it resolves. What is going on everybody and welcome back to another gameplay video. Today we are jumping back into Historic. Just as a quick reminder, we have one final day of our Modern Horizons 2 giveaway. If you'd like to enter to win a free bundle, you can check out all the details at our website, itresolvesmtg.com. Now, Let's check out Mono Black Adjacent. Uh, this is basically a Mono Black deck. I mean, as you can see, almost every single card here uh, on the face of it is black, but we do have a flipped to Balt that we would like to potentially be able to cast at the very least uh, to help finish the game. So uh, this is my own creation of Mono Black. So I've, I've taken some influence from some different places and also kind of decided to try a few cards that I wouldn't normally necessarily try. Uh, Tainted Pact is one of those cards. This is a very, very strong card. Instant speed, two mana. Exile the top card of your library. You can put that card into your hand unless it has the same name as another card exiled this way. You repeat that process until you put a card into your hand or exile two cards with the same name, whichever comes first. So the idea being that uh, essentially you're going to dig through your deck until you can find a card. If you hit uh, the same card twice for whatever reason, uh, then unfortunately the whole thing ends and you don't get anything. However, uh, I've found very often that that doesn't happen unless you're pulling just like a swamp or something like that. That's a little bit tricky. So if you do hit something there, we do need to consider, okay, it's probably better for us to just go ahead and take that land. Uh, but most often we are honestly looking for a land here or like a Languish or something like that. So Languish is the sweeper that we have got in this list. Minus four, minus four to everything. There's a very good reason why we have Languish in particular, and that's very much for Clackbridge Troll, which is kind of a mid-range threat for this list. Uh, a very, very strong mid-range threat. Five mana for an 8-8 eight, eight, trample haste. When it enters the battlefield, the opponent creates zero three zero one white goat tokens uh the idea is if we can play this down and then languish uh we basically sweep their board and then they've got nothing to sacrifice for the troll this does survive as a 4-4 uh and so we may not get the strongest attack in on that first turn but any creature they play after that is either going to have to get sacrificed or be bigger than the 8-8 so you you kind of wedge your your opponent into a position where it's like okay it's not even really that advantageous if they have creatures. So uh, that's kind of the idea between this little two card uh, interaction here. Uh, we do have Murderous Rider as like our general removal package. Uh, this hits creatures and planeswalkers, which is really, really nice and flexible. Uh, but it also gains us a little bit of life, which we could use. I mean, there are certainly instances, especially against mono red or even mono white, where we're going to be taking a lot of damage in the early turns if we don't have things like Fatal Push or Inquisition. Uh, and so being able to gain a little bit of that life back while also just playing like a decent 2 3 thread on 3 uh, is pretty good. So I'm very, very happy to have that. Uh, in the early stages of the game, we do have Fatal Push and Inquisition. I did not put Thoughtseize in here um, for a couple different reasons. One, this game, this, this deck is very, I would say, controlling throughout, uh, where we've kind of got ways to answer threats no matter what turn we're on, uh, for the most part. And so we, we really, I don't think, need Thoughtseize, but We'll learn today and we'll we'll see what we think. Uh, Valky is in here as well. We can play it early, obviously, to pull a creature from the hand or we can late game it for the Tabalt. Uh, the only other major like testing card for me is Inscription of Ruin. This is a very different card than what I'm normally used to playing, but early game, it's okay. Early to mid game, it's okay. You can kind of kill something or bring something maybe like a Valky back or you can discard two cards from the opponent's hand, which is most often what we would do with this if we play it on three. Uh, late game though, if it is a late game draw, it's a it's a very nice pickup because while you know discarding two cards from the opponent may not be the best, we might be able to get a Valky back and destroy something of theirs. There's some, some utility there. So uh, like to try this one out and see how it goes. And then for big finishers, we've got Dreadhorde General as well as Professor Onyx, both of which are very, very good. Honestly, I've been leaning more towards Professor Onyx, but I thought I'd try the, the Dreadhorde General as well, just to give it a shot. Uh, 
So we'll see how it goes. As far as the land package goes, uh, we do have two Castle Lockthwain, uh, and then we've we've kind of gotten over abundance of red uh, just to be safe. We do have a quick Fabled Passage and Mountain combo, so that way if we do for some reason miss a red in the first like seven lands that we get, uh, we can pull one out. But we do have Blood Crypts as well as the Pathway here uh, to hit whatever colors we need, and then again that Castle Lockthwain to draw. But Without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and jump into three games. We'll see how this deck does, and uh, hopefully we'll learn a lot along the way. All right, guys, here we are for game number one, uh, and I'm okay. I'm lukewarm on this hand. Uh, we do have the Fatal Push and then the Inscription, so we, we will get an early test in with the Inscription of Ruin. Uh, the Languish is also going to be good if this is a creature deck. If it's not, it's kind of a dead card, but we do have the Onyx. We'll see. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna run with it and we'll see how it goes. It looks like mono white might be the play. Uh, there's a red land as well. We're gonna hold up this fatal push naturally uh, and see how this goes. The inscription probably will be pretty good here. Uh, this is a very curious deck because normally you would not see this kind of card. But let's see what happens. They may have some kind of protection spell. That would be the only thing I could really think of. But I don't even know what they could have to be brutally honest. Um, the anointed. This is a, a very interesting card, not one that you normally see, so very, very interesting there. Uh, let's go ahead and just play out another Swamp. We're going to take a hit from the first Anointed here, but that's, I don't think, a big deal. Um, honestly, at this point, I'm very happy to, uh, to take some hits and get a uh, Languish in. Um, now, what we need to consider is what do we actually want to do with the Inscription? I'm kind of leaning towards just uh, making them discard. Um, the reason being, yeah, we take a hit, but Languish is going to be able to sweep. Uh, and so I'm not terribly worried about what they could have. Uh, the only thing that would be really scary would be like a Heliod would not be very good. Um, but this is going to really diminish their resources and then get us into a position where Languish is hopefully just going to be able to take over. So what do we get? Uh, Ephemerate. Okay. And this is exactly what I'm talking about. So yeah, they gain a little bit of life, but we're gonna get a three for one with our Languish here, which is pretty much ideal. Uh, let's go ahead and do that now. Sweep the board, and now we've got a grip of four cards versus a grip of two. Guaranteed lands uh, to hit Professor Onyx, uh, and then hopefully we can get somewhere with this Valky as well. Okay. Um, interesting, so... What do we want to do here? I mean, we could make them discard this last card. That's definitely a possibility. Uh, we could also just wait, which is not a bad idea either. Um, but I think I'm in the camp of let's get this out of hand. Um, let's make sure that we're progressing the game as needed. Uh, that's a very good card to get out of hand. Wow. OK, I'm glad we did that. Um, we assumed that because they didn't have four lands, that was a stranded card in their hand. So I'm glad that we did that. Uh, that could have been terrible for us if we had not. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, one, two, three. Okay, so we're not quite there yet. That's okay. Let's go ahead and do this. Um, and let's diminish their resources again. So I'm going to make sure that they just don't have a creature. If they do play something here, that's kind of okay. We've, we should be able to answer it. Uh, we can use Professor Onyx to, to search through our deck and kind of get where we need to get. Uh, if we can get a land, then we've got Tybalt. Um, so I like to think that we're in okay shape here. We also just have Inquisition, which is not a bad play. Um, let's do this first. Let's go ahead and take that Murderous Rider. Uh, that's going to give us some answers uh, as needed here. Let's just Tybalt. Um, let's Exile. Wow, Cathar's Crusade. Very, very interesting card. Okay, so... I mean, we're in a pretty decent position here. I mean, truthfully, there's uh, they could answer one of our Planeswalkers, maybe, which would be frustrating, but not the end of the world. Uh, and here, I mean, we've just got so much stuff. So, like, I'm not really that worried. Um, okay, so let's do this first. We do lose a life in that process, but there's a Dreadhorde General, which is wicked good right now. Um, let's... Go ahead and plus up the Tabalt. Uh, there's a Mana Tithe. Wow, they have Mana Tithe in the deck. That's really fun. Um, all right, let's see what we can do. Uh, let's do... Let's Dreadhorde General. 
Uh, and we'll just do this. We'll throw out one of these little guys. I'm going to Inquisition here. I expect that this is not going to land. Uh, and it, it does, actually. Wow. Okay. Uh, interesting they didn't play that, uh, just given the, the current climate. But there we go, guys. That's the win. What a great game. Okay, we're going to go ahead and jump into game two, but I'm already loving this deck. All right, guys, here we are for game two. This hand is a bit slow. Um, however, we do have the Tainted Pack to be able to kind of pull something out if we need to. And obviously a very removal heavy hand with a flexible turn three. So I'm going to keep... Um, I don't love this, though. I, I would say that this is not a very strong hand overall, especially in the early turns of the game. That being said, they did uh, actually throw a card back here. So they did Mulligan which is a positive for us. Uh, there's a Bowmat Courier. Um, that's going to probably get out of hand relatively quickly, so we do want to be able to answer that. Uh, unfortunately, Languish is not going to be a great answer, um, but we'll see. Uh, looks like a very aggro-centric list, obviously. Interesting, they have the Sun Scorched Desert, so it must have that artifact sub-theme, of course, uh, which makes sense. Um, that's the second card face down for them. Uh, depending on what they play here, honestly, just like a solid fatal push would do wonders. Um, and it looks like, yeah. Oh, wow. Look at that. Calling the shot. Um, yeah, we're definitely just going to go ahead and kill that. Before they can get those cards back, I'd rather go ahead and kill that Bomac Courier. That is their long-term game plan, so we need to make sure that we're not losing out to it. Uh, Gitu Lava, the, the Lava Runner here is a little scary. We might Inscription of Ruin to discard two cards here. Um, again, try and force them into a similar position that we did the last opponent where they just don't have a whole lot that they can do. Um, and then we can gain life back with the Murderous Rider, so we do have an answer-ish, uh, answer adjacent. Um, so let's do this. Let's go ahead and force them to discard two. Um, we've got plenty of removal, so I'm not excessively worried about the Lava Runner. Uh, but this will get these two cards out of hand, theoretically, unless there's something they can just forcibly play now, uh, which is fine. It just forces them to burn it, uh, and so I'd rather them go ahead and do it now. Sure. And we get a, a Ramanop Ruins out of hand, which is honestly pretty, pretty solid. <laughs> um, anything we can do to kind of get them burnt down here is really, really good. Okay. We need a land off the top. That is not a land off the top. Um... Although, crucially, we do have the Tainted Pact to be able to hit that land. Uh, so let's do this. Let's go ahead and we're gonna decline. Decline? Ooh, decline. We need a land, people. There's a Valky. So that is an instance where we unfortunately just miss. Uh, there's not much we can do about that. Um, I guess we just wait, right? I think we do just wait. We can do this on the Fatal Push on their turn uh, and get this Rage Hound out, and then, wow, okay. Ooh, we might be losing this game due to lack of land, uh, unfortunately. Um, that's kind of a terrible place to be, but I think that might be where we're ending up here. Good news is they can't uh, escape that now because they have played the Chandra. But bad news, we're probably just going to die. Oh, no. Um, so we do get this out of here. <clears throat> but we're going to lose two life in that process. We're pretty close to dead. Um, if they get a land, we are dead. Because they do have the Ramanap Ruins here. Um, we could have played the Murderous Rider as a creature, but that's not really a good call because that Chandra would have killed us at some point. Um, but yeah, they're going to get two damage in, sure. Ugh, scary, scary. No land still, my goodness. Um, land would have been so nice there, but unfortunately we didn't get it. I think we're just dead. If they have any kind of burn spell, we're, we're out of the game. Um, we can kill the Rage Hound again with the Murderous Rider, uh, and gain two life in that process, so we can keep ourselves technically in it, uh, if they don't have anything in hand, so... We're going to do it. We gain that two life back, which is helpful. Um, but here they can just escape it once more. Uh, and so, you know, it's not really the end of the world for them. Uh, and now, even if we answer these, we're still dead to a burn spell. So there's so much iffiness going on here. Um, 
All right, so they do have nothing left in their graveyard. That is worth noting, uh, but truthfully, uh, we are still just kind of dead. Um, the only play we can do is play out the Murderous Rider. The only reason this is the safest play is because if we just kill one of these, we still don't gain any life, so we're just dead to one damage. So it's literally the only play we can make. Uh, ugh. Unfortunately, just an unlucky draw for us. If we had had a land, we could have swept. Uh, we'd still be dead, but I mean, we're dead anyway to a burn spell, so we would have swept, gotten the, the field clear, and then next turn we could have been able to, to do something. But yeah, there they go. All right, fair enough. Bad draw. Let's go ahead and jump into game three. All right, guys, here we are for game number three. Uh, and this is a decent keep. It's not great, but we do have a nice two into three. Uh, these two are going to be stranded in our hand for a bit, but um, we'll give it a shot. I am going to lead on that Fable Passage, uh, specifically because we do need to hit our land drops on, on curve here. Uh, I'll go ahead and fetch now. We can just get a Black Source um, safely. We've got the red in hand. I'm not terribly worried about that. This is an Umburial Rights deck. That is going to be scary. Did they hit anything? No, just Umburial Rights. All right, so what do we take? Wow, all good stuff. Um, I mean, <laughs> we take Ulamog, I guess. Um, get it out of hand at the very least. All right. Um, interesting. This is going to be terrifying to be honest uh we do have the murderous rider to to deal with a big creature that comes down but uh yeah this is going to be a scary scary matchup um thankfully they don't have yet have have anything in the yard so like we're not we're not under any pressure and we won't be for at least till turn four theoretically um so that's helpful <laughs> uh theoretically they do have a very safe attack in if they want to take it Although they didn't. That's interesting. Um, all right, so we definitely play out this. Uh, that's going to give us an answer. And I think we just hold up. Um, the longer this game goes, the better off both of us will be, uh, to be honest, in terms of our deck choices. So ours has obviously got some big finishers in terms of the, uh, the lilies here. Uh, but they obviously have very big creatures. Thankfully... Uh, while Languish isn't a very good pickup, um, almost any other, you know, well, and Fatal Push isn't really either. Um, we don't, basically, we just have to hold on to these Murderous Riders, as well as the removal packages on some of these Planeswalkers to make sure that we can deal with this. So, we'll do the best we can. <laughs> um, they technically have Unburial Rights next turn, but they really don't have anything great to hit with it. So I'm waiting. I'm very surprised they are not attacking in. Um, that seems really curious to me. Uh, I don't know why they wouldn't, given the fact that if this dies, they mill three more cards and then could potentially hit something for the Unburial Rights, which is live this turn. It just seems kind of strange, um, but maybe they're waiting until this turn to do it. That's the only thing I could think of, uh, but we'll see. Okay, there's a Grizzly Salvage. There's an Elish Norn, uh, which is extraordinarily good. Uh, this is very similar to the Reanimator list that we played like the other day. Um, interesting. So they also run the Unbreakable Bond. I don't like that as much, especially in an Unburial Rights deck where you're self-milling. That just seems bad. I think you just go Turbo Self-Mill, and that's way better. But I could be wrong. Um, we we could very easily be wrong, and that's fine. All right, my turn. I'm going to take it. All right. Um, hmm. <laughs> uh, I think we hold on to this. The The downside to, uh, to playing this now is that uh, obviously that's not exactly great for us. Uh, we do get to pull this back, the, or pull the Valky back if we'd like. Uh, which is definitely going to die this turn, I have to imagine. They get to Unburial Rites Elishnorn. We then get to kill Elishnorn the following turn. Yep. Sure. That gets plus three, or plus two, plus two. Um, so here's the trick. Do we want to... No, I don't want to. I'm going to wait. Um, I'm going to take the three. I'm not going to Murderous Rider this turn. 
I don't think there's a big reason to. Uh, wow. This is a fun deck. Uh, I love Reanimator. It's just a really fun strategy. So it's really cool to see it uh, play against it. Honestly, it's a it's a really fun thing. All right. Um, so equip is seven for that. So we're not really under any pressure. We could do this. Uh, they're going to trade most likely, but this is going to make them sack the Elishnorn. Uh, so that gets rid of that. They can trade off, so they can kill the Professor Onyx here, and then also Unburial Rites uh, Elishnorn again. Or, I guess, I mean, they could get uh, Nethroi. But that's so far, the these are we're burning through their Unburial Rites, so that's half of them, I'm assuming, gone. Uh, three at us, three at, at uh, Professor Onyx makes a lot of sense. That's fine. Uh, not great for us, but that's fine. We're we're doing the best we can to burn as much of this as as possible. Um, all right, so at some point we will be able to just do this, which is going to be really good. But uh, for now, I think what we're going to do is just immediately kill the Elishnorn. Um. And then play out the Murderous Rider to be able to safely either block or attack in, depending on what we want to do. And then now we kind of just have to hope they don't have uh, an Unbreakable Bond. There's a Binding. It's going to kill them with the Rider. Um, actually kind of happy we got that out of hand, though. Uh, next turn, we could do some really cool shenanigans, actually. Um... Okay, so they got Wither Bloom in hand. That's very strong um, and scary. All right, so let's do this. Let's do this. All right, so we've got some decisions to make this turn. Uh, we can Liliana Dreadhorde General. That could kill both of these. Um, they've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana, so they can equip this. Uh, additionally, they could play. Wither Bloom. Uh, so the trick here is if we, I think the play is to kicker this, which is going to kill one of these, get all the cards out of hand, um, and get thanks to having Valky back. Um, I think that that's the play. All right, so target an opponent, get Valky back, and we'll kill a creature. And I think this is exactly where Inscription's at its best. I say at its best, but it is an Unburial Rites deck, so we do still have to worry here. Um, resolve. Please don't hit Unburial Rites. Okay, sweet. All right, so then we take the Wither Bloom. Uh, this, we really need to blank or, or have them brick here. Um, if we do have them brick, we can actually create the, the Wither Bloom Dragon and then potentially be in okay shape. We also just have Dreadhorde General to make them sack some creatures if they have anything. Um, they can just equip this. Ooh. Oh no, that's so sad. <laughs> okay, well, fair enough. They got it. Uh, can't be too upset. Um, Alright, so we do like absolutely have to do this they're still going to be able to get to wither bloom here um tainted pact may or may not be like super clutch for us uh yeah thankfully they don't have any creatures they can just play the wither bloom here though oh mean okay so they chose to do that over playing the wither bloom uh that's interesting i don't know that i would have made that play but uh maybe Let's Tainted Pact, uh, Decline, uh, Decline, Troll. Um, Troll's not great, to be honest, uh, especially given their... Uh, Valky, yes, that's what we want. Uh, so this is going to be able to steal some stuff here. Um, so let's go ahead and play that. Uh, additionally, we do just eventually get to exile their graveyard, which is really good. Um, Let's exile this. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and play it. Still pretty dead here, thanks to that Wither Bloom. That's a little scary, but um, 
I do think this was a route to victory for them that we just shut off. So I think that that's worth it. Um, there's this. This is a very interesting uh, game, actually. Oh my gosh, you were a saint. <laughs> that is so perfect. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, so we can make them sack both of these. Uh, get both of these out of here. That is so clutch right now. They gain a life, sure, but like we're not dead, so. <laughs> um, play land. All right. Now we really have to fade some good stuff here, but we do have a Clackbridge troll um, and they don't have a real good way to, to deal with it. So let's first of all do this. Perfect. We're going to play their land. Uh, we're then going to create a 2-2. Create a troll. So here's the danger, though. Here, there is a danger, uh, and it's a very real one. Um, let's see. So the danger here is that they do draw another Black Blade Reforged, which they may or may not have. I have no idea. Um, surprised they didn't uh, try and do that. Gonna take eight. Fair enough. Um, so we definitely have to hold up the Fatal Push, because if they do have that, then we just get to kill it on attacks. So. That should be okay. And now if they do kill any of our creatures, we're actually not in the worst shape. Okay, so this is the dangerous part. Oh, Languish is very good uh, and potentially keeps us in the game. Uh, we'll wait just in case. Yeah. So I want them to, de to, to declare their attacks before we do anything. So they're going to try and go all at Vulky and kill it. Or Tybalt, excuse me. Which they're not going to get to do. Okay. Um. <laughs> Alright, so what can we do? What can we do? Um. I wish we could make them sacrifice a creature, but we just cannot do it. Uh, we do get a free draw if we do this, by the way. Um, all right, well, first things first, we do need to exile some stuff. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, let's do this so that way we draw a card. There's an Inquisition. <laughs> Not particularly great here. Um, I mean, we just have to languish, don't we? Uh, like, I don't think that there's another thing we can do. Um, yeah. It's going to mill three cards. Uh, they, very importantly, don't have very many cards left in their deck. Uh, that is something to keep in mind here. Um, okay, so what can we do? What can we do? Um, play land, equip, here. Uh, move to attacks. They're not going to block. Uh, or they, they might block, I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm gonna attack in. They're gonna take it. Okay. Um, I think we just pass. We have an 18-18. They do have an Elish Norn, though. Um, There's the Unburial Rites. They're going to blow up two permanents here. Uh, I think it has to be Black Blade for sure. Or no, they don't because it wasn't cast. Pardon me. Uh, neither of these have haste, which is so important. Um, they're going to take out Lily, which they should. And maybe that was a mistake. Maybe that attack wasn't correct because of that. Um, I could definitely see that. But we do get to exile a creature here. And there's a Castle Lockthwain as well. Um, let's exile the Ulamog. Let's do this. It's going to get our land count up. Um, this is such an interesting game. <laughs> uh, we just get to play Ulamog, though, don't we? Yeah, 
Duh. So this actually wins. This wins the game. Okay. Doesn't matter. We did it. Wow, we found the line. Holy crap, what a game. Okay, let's let's talk about this deck for just a minute. Okay, guys, so wow, what a series of games. That was so crazy. I can't believe that it worked out that way. Uh, that last game was absolutely killer. That was amazing. Um, so first of all, again, I want to reiterate that this is just testing Mono Black a little bit. There's some different, different card choices that I made that you don't necessarily have to make. We saw Tainted Pack not at its best. Um, I, I did test this deck prior to recording these vi or this video, but I, uh, I found it to be a lot better in testing than I did in the, the recorded games here. Um, a lot of times I was able to find at least something of use. Um, it's not a perfect card though, I think that's the trick. The reason I like it though, because um, I did see some lists excuse me, running things like Sign and Blood, uh, which is a very strong card, it gives you some card advantage, it's great, but... Um, it's not instant speed, and I really wanted to have something that was instant speed. Now, uh, Tainted Pack crucially doesn't is not card advantage; it's card neutrality. Uh, it just replaces itself, but it should be able to turn itself into something useful. Uh, and so, overall, I'm really happy with this list. We saw in game two we just had some land issues. We do run 24 lands in this one. This is a very standard build uh, because we we top out at six, and we don't have a ton. Well, seven, I guess technically, and we don't really have a ton that we have to play at that that level so i felt 24 was enough but regardless guys if you enjoyed this one please 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 test it out the list is below enjoy it hopefully you guys can play around with it and build around it and see what you guys think but i love this i thought that was really really fun so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed uh we will be back tomorrow with the uh final challenge the emblem challenge week is finishing up tomorrow as a reminder next week is the biggest creature challenge so you are trying to build the biggest creature you can doesn't have to be permanent and it doesn't even have to be our creature it's just build the biggest creature you can so regardless guys thank you so much i really appreciate it hope you all have a fantastic thursday and i'll see you tomorrow for another gameplay video